news to you all. I'm Priscilla Good News and I'm with Troy. I'm with Troy there. I honor my father, His Excellency Ambassador Hubert Angel. Thank you so much, Prophet, for this amazing opportunity. We love you. We love you, Prophet. Wow. Are you ready for the Good News Daily? I'm absolutely ready to read the Good News Daily. Our Good News Daily today says, I am more than a conqueror, right? Yeah, absolutely. Our Bible reading comes from Proverbs 18, verse 2. A foolish person does not want to understand anything. He only enjoys telling others what he thinks. Mm. Today's Good News Daily is teaching you it is possible to live your life knowing who you are in Christ without others telling you who you are or who they think you are. Wow! Yes, absolutely profound. From today, always refer to what the Word of God says about you, right? Yeah, refer to what the Word of God says about you. What does the Word say? Ah, uh, I am a conqueror. Oh yes, absolutely. And start each day by prophesying to yourself. Decree and declare that you are God's masterpiece. You are victorious. You are the head and never the tail. I am the head and never the tail. Yes, you are the head and not the tail. You are a territorial commander and you speak things into existence. You are not moved by anything. That's exactly who you are in Christ. You are more than a conqueror. You are not from this world. And you are definitely not what the world says you are. Right? Yeah. You are who God says you are. Right? Yeah. And you are who God created you to be and nothing else. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, that's how it is. Now it's time for a prophetic declaration. Let's wait for Bao and do the prophetic declaration together. Well, Bao is here. Hello, I'm Bao. Good news to you, Bao. Good news to you all. Wow, it's good to be here, right? Yeah. What did you learn today? That I am more than a conqueror and I'm who God says I am. Yes, absolutely amazing. You are who God says you are. The prophetic declaration today says, I am what the word of God says about me. I am above anything that comes my way. And I am more than a conqueror in everything I do. Amen! Absolutely awesome. Wow, that's profound. You are more than a conqueror. You are what the word of God says you are. Our further study comes from 2 Corinthians 6 verse 1 well that's it for today right yeah we are not out of good news never we are just out of time we're just out of time until next time we say ta ta kids welcome back again to another story time my name is Titsy and I'm back again to read you guys this week's Bible story but before I do go any further I would like to honor our prophet his excellency ambassador of angel the commander-in-chief and the founder of spirit embassy thank you so much sir for this opportunity so the story for this week can be found in first Samuel chapter 3 God spoke to Samuel um, so we're going to read about that um, to see how that actually happened um, and Samuel's reaction. So let us get straight into it. So the title for this story is A Voice in the Night. Eli grew fond of Samuel for he was a good boy. One night Samuel awoke when he heard his name called. He rushed to Eli's room but the priest sent him back to bed saying, I did not call you child. Samuel had barely pulled the covers back over him when he heard his name called again. As before, he rushed to the priest, but once more, Eli sent him away. This happened one more time before Eli realized who was really calling Samuel, and it was God. So Samuel returned to bed, 
And when God spoke to him again, he answered. Then God told him that he had decided to judge Eli's family for his sons were wicked and Eli had not stopped them. The next morning, Samuel was reluctant to tell the priest what God had said. But when he did, Eli, the priest, sighed in resignation. He is the Lord. Let him do what is right in his eyes, Eli said. As Samuel grew up, God often spoke to him. And in time, people began to listen to what Samuel had to say. So that's the end of this week's Bible story. Like we saw, it took Samuel some time to realise that it was God who was actually speaking to him. But when he did, um, he listened to what God had to say. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Bible story. And I hope to see you next week for another story time. Hello, my name is Jed, you wonders lab scientist. I'd like to honor my prophet, Prophet Hubert Angel. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm Professor Flop. Hello, Jed. Hello, Professor Flop. I'm good, Jed. Uh, what's for today, Jed? <laughs> today we're going to be learning about that we are the salt of the earth. Wow, the salt of the earth? Yes. The Bible says we're the salt of the earth. Exactly, that's what it says. Ah, and salt is important, right, Jed? Yes. It's used to preserve things, it gives flavor. Wow! And if it loses its flavor, it's of no importance. Exactly. So we mustn't lose our flavor. We should keep our flavor through reading the Word of God, spreading the good news, and doing the good things that we learn from the Word of God, right, Jed? Yes, exactly. And we should never lose our flavor. Wow, that's awesome, Jed. So, what's on the table, Jed? Some salt. Yes. Some eggs and some water and a funnel. Wow, so you want to show us how important salt is, right? Yes, I want to show you how important salt is today. If someone doesn't have salt and they've lost their flavor, what happens? Show us, Jed. This happens. Oh, you they sink. sink. Ha! Ah, that's not good. So show us what happens when there's salt in the water, Jed. Okay. I'll show you what happens when there's salt in the water. We are the salt of the earth. We give flavor. Salt is important. Exactly. Wow, Jed, it's floating, right? Exactly. And those were the results. Wow, that's awesome. So, salt makes a difference, right? Yes, exactly. Just give the experiment time so that the eggs will rise. Wow, Jed. So, salt makes a difference, we make a difference because we are the salt of the earth, right? Yes, salt makes a difference, don't lose your flavor. That's it for today, we're never out of good news, we're just out of time. My name is Joseph and I am the evangelist leader for Good News World Kids, Birmingham, the King's Branch. Before I continue, I'd like to honour the CIC, Commander-in-Chief, the Visionary, the Prophet of the Dispensation of Christianity, Prophet Hubert Angel. I am more than conqueror. I am now going to read the prophetic decoration. I am what the Word of God says I am. 
I am above than anything that comes my way. I am more than conqueror in anything I do. You are blessed. Thank you. Good news, good news to you all. My name is Hannah and I am from Birmingham branch, Good News Kids. Today we are talking about Abraham. But before we talk about Abraham, we would first like to take this time to honor and um, to honor the grace that, I, that we submit to, Prophet Yuba Angel, amen. And we would also like to acknowledge our prophetess, the prayer machine, the beautiful woman, Prophetess Bibi Angel. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. So before I um, ask the questions, please, uh, my brother, please would you introduce to yourself to the viewers, please. Good news to you all. My name is Al Nathan and I am the evangelist leader for the Millionaire's Branch. The Millionaire's Branch, Good News World Kids. Before I continue, please allow me to honor and acknowledge my visionary, the CRC Commander-in-Chief, the signpost to Christianity, the leader and highly esteemed, the leader and highly esteemed Protestant dispensation of Christianity and founder of Spirit Embassy, Prophet Uber Angel, and my mum, the Baroness Bulldozer, the Baroness Bulldozer, the Prime Machine, my mum, Prophetess BB Angel! Man! Man! Good news, good news to you all. My name is Renee Bloomberg and I'm the Good News Daily Leader for the King's Branch. But before I start, I'd like to honour the CIC, the, the creator of the Good News platform, Prophet Yube Angel, and the Baroness Bulldozer, Prophetess yes. BB Angel. Hallelujah. Man. So, our first question, El Nathan, who was Abraham and what did God promise him? Um, Abraham was known as Abram and was also called by God to leave, to leave his own country and people to get to a new place. This is where God promised, that's where God promised Abraham that he will make a very great nation out of him. I will increase your numbers very, very much. And I will make you into nations. This is why God changed Ab Abram's name into Abraham, meaning father of many nations. Amen. Abraham was known as the father of many nations and the father of faith. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. What an incredible answer. Thank you, my brother El Nathan. Um, second question. How did God come through for Abraham? Renee. Abraham was obedient and faithful. So God said, as you are faithful and you are obedient, instead of sacrificing your only son, mm -hmm. sacrifice a lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. Wow. Hallelujah. Third question, what lesson did Abraham learn from these um, tests, El Nathan? He learned the importance of being obedient and unwavering faith. Amen. Hallelujah. What an awesome answer. Hallelujah. Last question for you, my sister Renee. How was Abraham remembered? Abraham is known as the father of all nations and a very faithful person. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you guys for your incredible, awesome answers. And we would just like to say, we are not out of good news, but we are just out, out of, of time. time. Hallelujah. Bye and good news to you all.
Kenneth Shaw, my name is Deborah, I'm 12 years old and I'm from Spirit Embassy Birmingham, the King's Branch. Before I go any further, I'd like to take this time to honor the man of God, the CIC, the prophet to this last dispensation, the vision carry himself, prophet Hubert Angel, and our beautiful mother, the president, Beverly Angel. Can I testify somebody? When I was six years old, I felt a fever and a stomach pain. Not just any kind of pain, excruciating pain that really affected me. My parents took me to the family doctor and the family doctor told me to go to the main hospital. At the hospital, tests were done and they found out my appendix had burst. They rushed me straight into surgery with my dad. All I can remember is me praying and praying and praying. And one prayer I said that God will be my doctor. After the surgery, the doctor said that I would be okay and that I, they would release me in a few weeks. I'd like to take this time to thank God for giving me a second chance at life because it led me to Spirit Embassy. Spirit Embassy has really transformed my life. I've grown deeper in the Word and truly figured out who I am in Christ. Once again, I thank Prophet Hubert Angel for this platform and for this opportunities. Good news to you. you all before i like to start i'd like to honor my man of god the prophet to this last dispensation the commander in chief his excellency Yuba angel we have been learning a topic called my new identity and it tells us how in romans chapter 3 we learn how we are made right through our faith in jesus christ meaning it is our job to have faith and to express it second of all we have learned in romans chapter 10 how Jesus Christ died and we are and raised from the dead and we are meant to believe that with our hearts and confess it with our mouth and that is the gift of salvation is ours. Mm -hmm. 